All right, so this is going to be a video about the derivative of a to the x, and it's going to be directly related to the previous video where I found the derivative and antiderivative of e to the x. So this time it's going to be a to the x, and the first thing that we're going to want to go over is to kind of simplify this, like I just said, we want it in terms of e to the x. So here we go. All right, so the first thing we're going to want to do is I want this a in terms of e. So I'm going to write a is equal to e to the ln a, because technically speaking, this e and this ln would cancel, and you have a equal to a, okay? So right now I have a, and it's in terms of e right now, but I want a to the x. So what I'm going to do is raise both sides to the x power, and you end up with e to the ln a to the x power is equal to a to the x, okay? Based on our exponent properties, a power to a power, all you have to do is multiply the two powers together, and you end up with a to the x is equal to e ln a times x, like so. Okay, so I'm going to put a little box around this so it doesn't get confusing. But I'm going to use this fact that a to the x is equal to this right here to find the derivative of this a to the x. So what I'm going to do is substitute this in. So I'm going to have it is equal to the derivative with respect to x of e to the ln a times x. Okay. From here, I'm gonna. it looks like a simple chain rule problem. I have this outside layer of E right here, and then this inside function ln A um, times X. So to find this derivative, I'm going to take the derivative of that outside layer. So this is going to be equal to E to the ln A times X, because the derivative of E is e, or e to the X, or E to some power, is that same E to the X. Okay, so I'm going to put this e as the derivative for the first layer. Then I'm going to multiply it by this in, inner layer right here, this ln a times x. The derivative of that inner layer right there would just be ln a. So you end up times ln a. Okay, now from here I'm going to back substitute or reverse substitute. I know this is equal to a to the x power, so I'm going to substitute that in. a to the x power times ln a. Okay, so the derivative with respect to x of a to the x is going to be equal to this right here. Okay, so that's the derivative of a to the x. Now we're going to use this similar, this same principle um, only for the antiderivative. So here we go. All right, so the first thing that I'm going to do is write that I'm looking for the antiderivative of a to the x with respect to x. Okay, once again, I'm going to be substituting this e to the ln a times x in for the a to the x power. So you'll end up having e to the ln a times x to the x power here, to the ln a times x power dx, okay? Now, what, I'm gonna, what you should be noticing right here is this looks like a u substitution problem. So I'm going to set u equal to ln a times x right up here, that way it'll just be an e to the u problem, which is pretty simple. Our du over dx, because we need to solve, now we need to substitute for this dx. We have this substituted for, we need to find the dx here. So I'm gonna take the derivative with respect to x of this u, and you'll get ln a, because ln a is constant. So a constant times x would just be that constant without the x, just using the power rule. All right, I'm gonna, I still need dx, so I'm gonna multiply both sides by dx, and you end up with du is equal to ln a times dx. Divide both sides by ln a, and you end up with dx is equal to du divided by ln a. Okay, so now I'm gonna substitute everything back into the original integral. So then I'm gonna have e to the u, because u is equal to this power up here, times dx, which is du over ln a, so du over ln a. I'm gonna pull the ln a out, so you'll have one over ln a in front of the integral times e to the u du. We know this antiderivative from the previous video is just gonna be e to the u plus c, so you'll end up with this being equal to one over ln a times e to the u plus c. I'm gonna resubstitute in my u here, so you'll end up with one over ln a times e to the ln a times x plus c. Well, we know this term right here is equal to a to the x power because e to the ln a times x is equal to a to the x. So you can substitute this 
and you end up with the final answer of a to the x power divided by ln a plus c as your antiderivative of a to the x right here. Okay, so that's the derivative and antiderivative of a to the x using uh, the knowledge that we have of e to the x with the derivative and antiderivative. If you have any questions about any of this, let me know.